These are the top 12 Satoshi Nakamoto quotes. Before he disappeared in 2011, Bitcoin creator Satoshi Nakamoto shared his wisdom and knowledge on Bitcoin in the Bitcoin Talk forum, which can still be found today. These are his most popular quotes. When someone tries to buy all the world's supply of a scarce asset, the more they buy, the higher the price goes. At some point, it gets too expensive for them to buy anymore. It's great for the people who owned it beforehand because they get to sell it to the corner at crazy high prices. As computers get faster and the total computing power applied to creating bitcoins increases, the difficulty increases proportionally to keep the total new production constant. Thus, it is known in advance how many new bitcoins will be created every year in the future. Coins have to get initially distributed somehow and a constant rate seems like the best formula. Sigh. Why delete a wallet instead of moving it aside and keeping the old copy just in case? You should never delete a wallet. The possibility of being anonymous or pseudonymous relies on you not revealing any identifying information about yourself in connection with the addresses you use. If you post your Bitcoin address on the web, then you're associating that address and any transactions with it with the name you posted under. If you post it under a handle that you haven't associated with your real identity, then you're still pseudonymous. Bitcoin would be convenient for people who don't have a credit card or don't want to use the cards they have, either don't want the spouse to see it on the bill or don't trust giving their number to horn guys or are afraid of recurring billing. A lot of people automatically dismiss e-currency as a lost cause because of all the companies that failed since the 1990s. I hope it's obvious it was only the centrally controlled nature of those systems that doomed them. I think this is the first time we're trying a decentralized, non-trust-based system. In a few decades when the reward gets too small, the transaction fee will become the main compensation for nodes. I'm sure that in 20 years, there will either be very large transaction volume or no volume. Lost coins only make everyone else's coins worth slightly more. Think of it as a donation to everyone. It would have been nice to get this attention in any other context. WikiLeaks has kicked the hornet's nest and the swarm is headed towards us. The root problem with conventional currency is all the trust that's required to make it work. The central bank must be trusted not to debase the currency, but the history of fiat currencies is full of breaches of that trust. Banks must be trusted to hold our money and transfer it electronically, but they lend it out in waves of credit bubbles with barely a fraction in reserve. We have to trust them with our privacy, trust them not to let identity thieves drain our accounts. Their massive overhead costs make micropayments impossible. The Times, 3rd of January 2009, Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks. If you don't believe it or don't get it, I don't have the time to try to convince you. Sorry. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to learn more about Bitcoin.